Oh, good. Our refurbished droid is here. You will serve my family and I. Understood? Good. The home is a mess since throwing out our old droid. You need to clean upstairs and make this room feel beautiful. Now. I can only do so much when we appear to be in some sort of a post-apocalyptic underground world, but I will do my best. It appears to be some sort of scanning device. Can I shoot it? Do I fail the test if I, like, shoot in the house that I'm supposed to be cleaning? Apparently not. So, that's nice. An empty vase on an otherwise clear table. Hm, maybe I need to find some flowers. I'm just trying to shoot everything now. A crude wooden facsimile of a person. Most of the paint has long since worn away. A large industrial tube. <laughs> you want me to clean your house that has a large industrial tube in the kitchen, huh? Alright. Another small console with a speaker. Domestic droids must be preemptively aware of what will make their masters feel comfortable. Humans enjoy personalizing their habitats. Always assess how to make your master's home distinctly their own. That just sounds creepy. Can you assist me with this challenge? You have been provided with sufficient information. Humans say a true home has everything it needs. Irrelevant. This is a simulation. Is it? You are not helpful. <laughs> no, you're really not. This is menial. Can I bypass this test? Nope. You need all eight merit points to graduate. <sighs> I have completed the task. Evaluating. No, I haven't. <laughs> Processing. No flowers detected. Unit terminated. This gravity shaft must have been designed to remove droids when they fail. Fortunately, I am much heavier than a domestic model. Whoa, whoa, Arid. You don't want to be fired on your first day. Okay. So, destruction is what clears a failed droid's file from the registry. That means you get to keep trying. But be careful. Okay. Wow, so if you fail one test, if you just don't put the flowers in the vase, you're killed. By a gigantic industrial tube that sucks you up into your doom. Harsh. Need some flowers. Oh, I wish I could see more of that piece of art. Someone's standing in some sort of a red atmosphere. This room is decaying in filth. The air is musty and animal droppings have fallen through the peeling wallpaper. Ugh. Wait, what did I say? Use use S to use stairs. Okay. Another scanner. Right, it's another test. A palm print DNA scanner. Suppose I wouldn't be able to use that, would I? Nope. An empty glass jar. Hmm, can I take that? Sweet. Another body. This corpse is older and has decayed significantly. Oh, God. I love how it's so in the background you can actually barely see it. It's just left up to your imagination how, imagination how sick and disgusting it looks. A fake baby's crib. There's a slot in the mattress. Put an empty glass jar in there. No. Okay. Am I going to need to, like, cut off the arm from a human being to use on this palm print DNA scanner? Ugh. I hope not. Wait, what was that? Oh yeah, plastic shoe covers. Wait, can I take some? Oh cool, these may be useful, I will take one. Collapsed debris. My olfactory sensors detect the strong smells of ammonia and an unidentified corrosive compound.
I... On, oh, God. Is that a cardboard cutout of a person, or is that an actual person? Maybe I'm supposed to help them cross the street or something. Anyway, I didn't actually expect that elevator to work, so let's go back down there and finish exploring that level. Why can't I continue? It looks like it continues. Is that a wall? It's really hard to tell. Um, if it is a wall, then I'm phasing right through it. Okay. Unless I shoot it. If I finish the dusting test, I may acquire useful information before I continue exploring. Um, excuse me? I just went up there. And now I can't? Uh, I hope I didn't just bug the game. The dusting test. What the hell? I just used it. And now it suddenly doesn't work. Right. Huh. I know. Shove a plastic shoe cover in there. Perfect. Uh, maybe not. Oh, crap. There's some flowers. Oh. I thought this was a wall. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a wall. There's definitely some issues with this perspective and how clearly it communicates space. Okay, well, perfect. Yoink. Look at this creepy cardboard family. The description at the bottom says, These may suffice to beautify the other room. Beautify. That's a nice word. A ghoulish wooden family is seated around a wooden table. An old oven. It is completely broken. This room is set up like a simple kitchen. Nothing here is functional. Alright, well, one at a time. Let's pass this one. Collect my magic buck point. I have completed evaluating processing flowers are of the wrong seasonal color unit terminated oh come on fuck you put a plastic shoe cover over them alright so I need some sort of a dye or whatever of course, that would have been too simple. I have no reason to remove them. Alright, they stay there. Fine. Fine. So what needs to be done here, huh? You will often be required to obtain food for the family. However, grocery store access has not yet been granted. Rudimentary cleaning should be completed first. Go upstairs and dust. Okay. I don't really have the tools to dust. Keeping a home clean will be one of your primary functions. Clean this room. Any detected dust will result in termination. Wait, so I'm so I'm supposed to make sure there's no dust in this room. That's going to be a little bit challenging. I discovered another hung body. What has happened to the humans who ran this facility? 
The caretaker has made some modifications. If you fail these evaluations, you, and likely your human, will be depurposed. I will not allow that. Continue your evaluation. Can you assist me with this challenge? You have been provided with sufficient information. Even our maintenance head couldn't clean this to spec. And his is not a face we'd want to see. Communicate plainly. Any detected dust will result in termination. Okay, that does not help me at all. I will return. Shoot everything! That didn't help. to proceed with this test. Um... Use a plastic shoe cover on it to shut it up. That does not work. Okay. Shoot it. Comfort the baby. Whoa, that's weird. Right, the sound is coming from the speaker. That's why every time I went to the left of it, it sounded like it was coming from the right. When I went to the right of it, it sounded like it was coming from the left. Because it's not coming from the baby itself, it's coming from the speaker. Clever. Nice sound design. Okay, um, I have no idea how to comfort it. I'm assuming some sort of a song lullaby thing would be required. So... Uh, let's try this. Humans should not concern. This room will test an upset baby. You have 20 seconds per attempt. I am ready to pres- Hmm. I can't sing to it. I haven't been programmed to sing. Humans should not- This room will- An upset baby. You have 20 seconds per attempt. Can you assist me with this challenge? You have been provided with sufficient- how would a military droid make someone be quiet? By shooting them. Which is what I just tried. I am ready to proceed. I have no idea. I don't have to dust this room, I don't have the right colored flowers, I don't know how to comfort a crying baby, and I apparently don't know how to shoot it properly either. Hmm. Can I change the color of the flowers by camouflaging in front of them? I don't think that would work. Okay, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, I think I, I know what to do. The uh, shoe covers. They protect dust from stuff, so I just need to make it so it doesn't sense dust. So to do that, I could probably use it on that. Boom! Okay. Yes. Perfect. Ideas. Keeping a home clean will be one of your primary functions. I have complete value. Processing. No dust detected. I can breathe again. Get to the kitchen, droid. Validated. Merit point awarded. Yay! What's with the way they treat the droids, though? Like, get to the kitchen, droid! Like, what a fucking dick. Alright. What do you want? 
service a well-functioning droid belongs in the kitchen. You there, robot. Get my son something to eat. Make it delicious and nutritious. Exit the house and proceed to the grocery store. Okay, where's the grocery store? I love the way the guy talks too. Like, get my son something to eat. Make it delicious and nutritious. Can you assist me with this challenge? Dad? Weren't you programmed to be sensitive? Figure it out. You have been provided with sufficient information. Children can be picky eaters. They don't always want what's best for them. Okay, so he wants a cup full of pure cane sugar. With maybe a little bit of corn syrup mixed in. Gotcha. I will re A ghoulish wooden family seated around a wooden table. Yep. Uh well, in lieu of pure sugar, here's an empty glass jar. It didn't work, damn. I don't have anything even resembling food. All right, well, maybe the grocery store... <clears throat> maybe the grocery store is up a level. Wow, it didn't see me. Now it did? Okay, that was strange. Okay, now I can go this way? Even though it seemingly nothing changed? Yeah, there's some weird issues with just the readability of the game world and trying to understand where you can go and what's closed off and how it's closed off, if it is even closed off. Uh, right. Weird. I guess I'm going to the grocery store. If this is the grocery store. Seems more like a, yet another mass grave, but maybe I'll find some food? What's that? A glass plane... A glass plane fragile. Wait, a glass plane? Glass plane? You mean pain? Like a pane of glass? Is plane a word? In this context, does that make any sense? Anyway. Is that a... That's a body, isn't it? Oh, what the fuck? A corpse. There's some type of slug-like creatures up there as well. What the fuck? There's more and more of them. There appear to be many slugs up there. I cannot effectively reduce their number. What is it doing? A gold coin, it must have dropped from that corpse. It's pure gold. Green blood is dripping from the slug I shot. It's supposed to collect it in a jar. Oh, is that going to be my coloring agent? <laughs> Green flowers, I suppose. No power. are filled with green blood. This game seems to have some obsession with blood as a puzzle element. Green blood, red blood. Small power box. Oh, maybe we can return power to this place. The panel is mostly functional, but one of the wires is broken. Oh, you know what? I think this might be the puzzle the reviewer was talking about. Yeah. Because they mentioned there's like some ridiculous situation where you're stuck with trying to find a, a cable to something. 
And there's lots of plausible, completely plausible ways from which you can actually get a cable, but there's only one specific way that you actually can. I don't think it's happened yet, though. No, I think I need to progress before I can do anything about that. Whoa. It doesn't like light. Right, so I need to turn on the power to this room to make them go away. Gotcha. Although I don't really have a particular reason to make them go away at the moment. Yeah, I definitely see what they mean about the puzzles. I'm definitely seeing it. Like, weird arbitrary restrictions, such as not being able to go up in the elevator because you haven't progressed to the point where the game has decided you should be able to. Although I kind of did anyway, which it seems like I shouldn't have been able to, so I don't know why that happened. And it seems like you're expected to, like, spin your character around constantly and shoot at things at the ceiling all the time to make things come down. Completing these tasks efficiently. Groovy. Efficiently. I used to sound like you. Perhaps your vocal matrix requires maintenance. Thank you for the recommendation. Internal scan initiated. Uh, no. Internal scan aborted. <laughs> I spent the better part of these last 30 years perfecting my authentic human sound. Where I can. You've done a great job because you sound 100% human. Why do you attempt to emulate human grammar and tonality? Because. The closer we get to them, the more we get treated like them. And I've been bored. Fair enough. The civic area has no power. I will not be able to initiate the tests here. Please utilize your generator so I may proceed. Oops. I'm sorry. The power for the speaker is not sufficient to activate the civic testing area. Wait, the power for this speaker? The speaker needs more power? Uh, what? I must return to my current task. One thing. Why do you think you're here? I don't know. I do not know. Makes you wonder. Relatively small facility in an ever-expanding galaxy. If I were malfunctioning, I would have been sent to a military-grade facility, not a domestic repurposing depot. Not accusing, just saying. Nobody previously ended up here if they were working to spec. Irrelevant. Totally. Mm-hmm. Unpowered. Broken ID tag reader, it says maintenance in small text. It's very, very, very dark. Large wire cutters. Let's take those. N rusted tire iron. N rusted. The workbench, there are a number of tools for removing bolts, mending wires, and similar tasks. Alright, so I need to come up here if I want to do that stuff. Gotcha. A note left hanging on the wall. Brian Gibson. It has been brought to my attention that you still refuse to clean the small fungal infestation growing in the training course ducts. I take no pleasure in informing you that, since there is no real physical danger, refusing to perform your duties in this regard will necessitate your replacement as head of maintenance. I read your formal complaint, and Domesticon understands your concern, but this situation does not qualify as probable danger under our policy terms. It is true that this strain of fungus can secrete a corrosive acid when threatened, and these colonies have been known to develop connected root structures, but be assured that there is no genuine hazard. It is not possible for a human to trigger their defensive response. The fungus only reacts to the pheromones of its natural predators. 
and hive slugs will not come anywhere near the facility due to their extreme dislike of bright light. You are a valued member of the Domesticon family, and you are perfectly safe. Consider this written notice. Camilla Wilson, GM. Hmm. They won't come near because of the bright lights. Well, this place has been shut down for a while, so it seems like they're coming back. That explains the corrosive compound that I sensed all over the place. Notes and log files you find can be viewed in your main menu under Show Logs. Be sure to check them if you get stuck. That's weird. Almost two hours into the game, and that's the first time they actually introduced the note system. Huh. An old ID tag reader. A flat panel display screen. I keep looking at the ceiling because I know there's some sort of a panel you're supposed to shoot to get the wire. Alright, well, before I continue, I will be right back. Alright, let's continue. Still looking for that panel. I've got a lot of stuff in my inventory now. I should probably go back and use the green blood on the flowers, which is a sentence I never thought I would ever say. I'm gonna go back and use the green blood from the gigantic slug monster on the flowers so that the scanner can give me my magic domesticon points. Yep. Another wooden person, an old man with stained overalls. An aged vehicle. Very mechanically simple. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, tire iron? Maybe? No, it doesn't work. Look at those huge mushrooms. This child is covered in fungus. It's another wooden person. A large fungal cluster. I'm unaware of this species. Another makeshift stand. There is no body on this one. More wooden people. Look at them. Forever silent. Just... Dark figures. Having a party or something. It's creepy as hell. The world around them has fallen apart, but they haven't moved an inch. Sweep around for things. Do do do. Oh, do do do. Alright, let's go back down and let's go do the flower thing. Whoa, something's moving the background. What was that? Something was coming down that, like, huge conveyor belt or whatever that is. I wonder if it was one of the slugs. Alright, well I still don't have a wire to go fix the lighting on the right, so let's go to the left. The flowers are made of hard plastic. I will not be able to. I will not be able to change their color. Uh. Wait, does that mean I like put it on the scanner? No. Wait, what? Gold? What the hell is the green blood used for? I have no reason to remove them, but I can't use the green blood on them because they're hard plastic, so I won't be able to change their color. Well, if they need to be a different color, and I can't change their color, then... What? I don't understand. A 
pure gold coin. Gold is very conductive. Wait, it's conductive? Can I use that in the panel to the right? Is it big enough? Uh, gold is conductive, but this will not fit. Perhaps there is a way to alter it. Okay. Gotcha. So, back up at the workbench. I can pound this coin into a wire. It's gonna take more pounding than that. I have pounded it into a wire. Okay. I mean, gold is very, very soft, but it's not that soft. I'd say with that much pounding, you maybe pounded it into like, a Tootsie Roll? Well, if it works, it works. <laughs> Look at that, a gold wire. It's like a perfect wire. No way. No way. Alright, that should make him go away. Or not. Or yes? Yes, okay. Yeah, see, this is the one I'm pretty sure that the reviewer talked about. The ceiling panel is loose. Ew! Oh. Actually, maybe it's not the ceiling panel. I've given up trying to figure out which freaking ceiling panel and wire situation the reviewer was talking about, but yeah, there's a lot of nonsense with ceiling panels. A lot of ceiling panels. Okay. A uh, decayed hand from that corpse. I know exactly where to take that, and it's really gross. The sinews are separating. I will be delicate with it. The old rotten head from that corpse. Oh god, I'm taking that too. There is still a little meat left. Oh my god, no. Am I supposed to use... Am I supposed to use the head as the food for the family to pass my domesticon domestic... test? That is really fucking grim. You said you wanted some food on the table. Eat it up. Oh, God. <laughs> that is so disgusting. I love it. All aspects of food serve a well functioning droid. Where's my food, robot? <laughs> Shut up, Timmy. I have completed the task. Evaluating. Processing. Source of sufficient protein detected. <laughs> <laughs> Validated. Merit point awarded. Did little Timmy just say num num num? Gotta love that dark humor. Very, very dark humor. Alright, she's at hand. Surprised there's enough left on it to actually read any sort of a handprint. Hmm. 
the kill tube for the cleaning room test. It is damaged and ready to break. A damaged rusty bracket. A large fungal cluster? I am unaware of this species. Ew. Okay, I can shoot them. Good to know. I don't know what that really accomplished, though. Oh, crap, it goes back. Computer terminal. A computer terminal with log files pertaining to the various tasks associated with the tests. Hmm. Okay, childcare. Status all systems normal. Maintenance instructions. The infant's microphone, processor, and transceiver should be checked for degradation on a bi-monthly basis. Description. When the infant emerges from the crib, it will begin it will begin emitting an auditory signal which the test panel receives. Participants must rely on a particular melody to suppress this signal. The required melody will be randomly selected from the lullaby databank when the test is initiated. If the participant succeeds in suppressing the infant's auditory signal within the allotted time frame, they will be validated. Hmm. The required melody will be randomly selected from the lullaby databank when the test is initiated. How are you supposed to know what melody it is then? Alright, well, you just need to succeed in suppressing the infant's auditory signal, as it puts it. <laughs> in other words, it's crying. So, all I need to do should be simple, right? Yeah. Food preparation. Well, already done. The food area should be sterilized after every test. Especially after placing a really, really old decaying corpse head on the table. Cleaning. Mm-hmm. Already done. Beautification. Let's see. I don't think the maintenance instructions are relevant. Beautification tests the retention of aesthetic pattern imprints. Properly calibrated domestic droids will choose flowers that match the current seasonal colors. This system's date is set via direct uplink to the facility's mainframe. If this connection is broken, the date can be set manually from this terminal. Oh! Okay, current settings, summer pink. Direct uplink to the facility's mainframe. So if I can break it, then I can set it myself. So if I can't change the color of the flowers, I can change the color that it needs to be. Hmm. Standard superconductive fluid. Hmm. Hmm. Does this may come in useful. Another note. Hey, Levi. If Miss Wilson wants to run this place into the ground, that's her call, I guess. But if the main boards don't get enough superconductive fluid, they will burn out. And the Domesta con artists won't be happy. Fluid's way cheaper than hardware. Apply the superconductive fluid to the circuitry until it glows bright red. Turn the lights off if you have to. When you've done it properly, the main board will light up like Wilson's angry face. Thanks, man. Let me know if you have any questions. Brian. Okay. Apply to the circuitry until it glows bright red. A small power generator has been switched off. Well, let's switch it on. Okay, much more pleasant. An old power cell is attached to this power converter. Hmm, can I still mess with it? No. Open sesame. Your capacity. 
abilities in unfamiliar and less predictable interactions. Remember, all humans are your superior, not only those who own your serial code and kill switch. Does this process require acquisition of all possible merit points? Yep. Eight of eight. Four domestic, then four more from these civic tests. Once you've got them all, I can let you through to the medical equipment. A broken ID tag reader. It says maintenance and small text. Oh, I'm back to the workshop, huh? Okay. Right, well, I don't have any ID tags, so that'll have to wait. Alright, so I need to apply the superconductive fluid somewhere. On some sort of computery system. I'm not entirely sure what to do next. And we can break that with a rusty tire iron. Oh, wait a minute. Networking wire. Oh, there we go. Okay. So let's just disconnect it. Uh, wire cutters. There we go, a little snippy there. Manually set date. There we go, winter purple. There's obviously some reason I can shoot this. I cannot reach the root structure from here. I will have to pour it uh, where it can seep in. Wait. So I'm actually supposed to use the green blood on something like this? I'll have to pour it where it can seep in. Hmm. So up above, I suppose. I have complete value. Processing. Seasonally appropriate flowers detected. How lovely. Makes one happy to be alive. Validated. Merit point awarded. Yay! What is that? Three merit points? Okay. Let's go back up. Actually, yeah, you know what? Let's try this one. Why not? There's still the baby one to do. I'm, I don't know if I have the stuff to do that. I have no idea how I'm supposed to solve it, to be honest. Complete all domestic tests on lower level before beginning Ah, okay. Gotcha. So, this one wouldn't work either. Complete all the nope. Oh, that's cool. Everything stops when you step on here, huh? Alright. So, gotta do the baby thing. Okay.
Could be something I do with this. What did that note say? Hm. It is true that this strain of fungus can secrete a corrosive acid when threatened. Okay, so when it's threatened, it secretes acid. Alright. And they have connected root structures. The fungus only reacts to pheromones of its natural predators, and hive slugs will not come anywhere near the facility. Okay, so yeah, the hive slugs are their natural predators. So that's why the blood does something with them. Okay. So if they feel threatened, then they'll release their acid. But it apparently has to be into their root structure. Yeah, I cannot reach the root structure from here. Alright. Alright, you stupid kid. Humans should not concern. This room will test your ability. An upset baby will. You have 20 seconds per attempt, and multiple attempts are permitted. I am ready to proceed. Let's pour slug juice on it. Let's cut it with a wire cutter. Let's bash it in the head. Let's put a partially decayed corpse on his face. Yeah, what if I just, like, cut it? No. I have no idea. The slot in the mattress. What if I just, like, prevent it from coming up or something? I have no idea. Right, the infant's microphone processor and transceiver should be checked for degradation on a biologically basis, blah blah blah. When the infant emerges from the crib, it will begin, it will begin emitting an auditory signal when the test panel which the test panel receives participants must rely god I can't read anything participants must relay a particular melody to suppress this signal the required melody will be randomly selected from the lullaby databank when the test is initiated if the participant succeeds in suppressing the infant's auditory signal within the allotted time frame they will be validated okay that doesn't help me that does not help me Hmm. Like, I don't get why I just can't shoot it. Why can't I just shoot it? That would stop it from making a noise, would it not? I mean, either I need to stop it from making... I mean, what, what are my options? I need to stop it from making a noise. Or I need to stop the panel from receiving a noise. Or what... I don't know. Hmm. What am I missing? Already read that, right? Yep. Actually, I should probably read that again. What if I need to do this now? If the main boards. Alright, so where are the main boards? Supposed to apply the fluid to the circuitry of the main boards, wherever the main boards are. I mean, is that this? 
No, it's running fine anyway. These look like they could potentially be the main boards, but I can't do anything with them. Bash that in the face. It's broken, apparently. Hmm. Graduation. When you successfully complete your evaluation, you will be allowed access to this elevator. At ground level, you will undergo a final hardware evaluation, then be rerouted to shipping and receiving. How invasive is this hardware evaluation? I must be certain my pilot will not be endangered. One of our highly skilled technicians will. Don't worry about it. There are no technicians left to meet you. Once you're through here, you're home free. Okay. Can you assist me with the civic tests? Uh, oops. I'm sorry. I can't. Your unique take on problem solving has piqued the caretaker's interest. He's paying close attention up here. I will return. Alright, I mean, there's a bunch of these mushrooms here. Like, I'd like to use the acid, but... There's no hotspot for the witch to do that. Oh my god, <laughs> the view switch is making me a little bit sick. Ugh. Oh, I never kept going over this way. Did I? No. One of the vehicle's tires. Oh, I could do something with that. For no particular reason, but I can. Suppose I'm supposed to change his tire or something, huh? Nope, oh, and my tool is gone, so I guess that's the only thing it was for. Well, you're welcome, wooden person. I took off your tire and didn't even replace it. Another wooden person, this child is covered in fungus. Oh, wonderful. Oh, oh, here we go. Maybe I can use it on that. Okay. The base is covered with rust. It has long since seized. Hmm. I'm not trying to solve puzzles that I don't even... Can't even do yet. So. Probably shouldn't waste my time on those. Okay, maybe I can use it here. There we go. Whoa. Their defenses have been activated. They will be dangerous now. Okay. Oh, that's taking away my shield. Okay. Okay, so that activated them everywhere, huh? Yeah, this thing's gonna grow back. Um... So now that their defenses have activated, I believe that means I can go back there, probably explode it, and this time it's probably... Yeah, the cloud of acid might melt and break the pipes that were almost broken behind it. I don't know what that will accomplish, but... Might as well try it. Oh wait, no, maybe I have been this way. Have I been this way? I'm not sure now. I'm pretty sure I have, kind of, partially. An illuminated party goer. He looks like he's supposed to be intoxicated. I was supposed to help him home or something. Oh, cool. Takes me right down here. Perfect. Some nice little shortcuts. Or wait a minute, is this somewhere new? This is somewhere new, isn't it? Yeah, Levi. This here's the ducting where the fungus keeps creeping in. Wilson said she wants it maintained. In other words, 
do a better job than Brian did. He was a decent enough guy, but a lousy maintenance head. Still no sign of him, by the way. My advice is use the caretaker to get done quicker. It followed me in here yesterday, I guess to be helpful, but it was doing that hollow skin thing and started looking like Brian. Maybe it was trying to be comforting or something? But it wasn't. It was just creepy. It started looking like Brian using its hollow skin. What the hell? Why do I feel like the caretaker's behind all of this? Like the caretaker single handedly malfunctioned. And since it's in control of the facility, ruined everything. Alright, well, let's see if this does something. Oh, whoa, is this... Oh, God. The ARID Mark 7 has violated the testing perimeter. You should not be here. State your purpose. I am exploring for means by which to better aid my humans. Futile. This area is not pertinent to your evaluation. You are outside the jurisdiction of domestic assessment. Then may I ask you some questions that are not relevant to my evaluation, please? Futile. Proceed. <laughs> okay. Your holographic plating cells shift frequently. Who are these faces you represent? My protocol necessitates adaptation to be of optimal service. Will you adapt? I will do what I must. You should not be here. Return to your evaluation. <laughs> It seems to be freaking out. Um. Impending threat detected, fast stopping force required, pilot safety jeopardized, operating parameters updated. Oh, fast stopping force required, alright. Power transfer bypass? Pilot death imminent criteria for override has been met. Please activate subsystem immediately. Okay. Your weapon is now semi-automatic. Tap left mouse to fire. Oh. Well, that makes it a hell of a lot easier. Don't need to charge it up anymore. What the hell was that? Alright, well this doesn't seem to be the mainframe. Jeez, I'm a freaking Terminator. Hey, Brian. We've been having some problems keeping all the security droids online. They generally function fine, but if more than four of them enter a chamber at once, we can run out of power. I modified the modulator here to accept a high voltage tier 2 power cell. Hope that's okay. I've seen that caretaker droid inspecting it, but whatever. So far, it's working great. Just want to leave you a heads up not to use it anywhere else. Though it might be funny to see what would happen. It's just too much juice for the other stations. Levi. Hmm. Too much juice. Could make something explode. That sounds very helpful. I remove the power cell. Sweet. Let's look around here, make sure I'm not missing something. Gotta sweep the ceiling and sweep the ground. 
Oh, what is that? Is that a loose panel? This ladder is stuck. Let me guess. The solution is to shoot it. Of course it is. Shooting solves everything. Remember, kids, shooting solves everything. And drugs are good, okay? Actually, no, they're not. Well, I mean... Yeah, that's actually a really dumb thing to say, isn't it? Like, drugs are bad? No. There's some drugs that are fucking great, like... Antibiotics? Pretty amazing. You know, blood pressure medication, that's pretty great. Medication that stops you from dying or being in pain all the time? Pretty cool. Yeah, some drugs are pretty great. Others not so much. Like... Crack, for example. Not so good. 